All right, everyone, welcome to the show. I'm your host, Eric. So, recently, I've been asked how to shoot video on a Canon DSLR. And first, I was just like, oh, you just flip it to the movie mode, click record, that's it. But I was thinking about it, and shooting video isn't actually that simple. Shooting video takes a lot more time, preparation, and knowing how to utilize a camera. Just about all cameras these days have the ability to shoot video, whether it's a small pocketable point and shoot camera or a full DSLR. But usually when you turn on the video mode, everything is an automatic, like automatic exposure, automatic white balance, automatic focusing. And shooting an automatic is a bad idea because the camera doesn't actually know what you want. It just does what it wants to do. Take for example my desk in my basement. Right now it's dark and the camera is trying to compensate for the lack of light by changing settings which might hurt the quality of the video. This is why we need to change everything to manual. On my Canon DSLR, if I want to change my exposure settings to manual, it's just a quick option in the settings menu. And once I have all the settings right, I can take full control of my camera by changing the ISO, the shutter speed, and the aperture. If you're gonna be shooting at 30 frames per second, you're gonna to wanna to double your shutter speed. So at 30 frames per second, that's 1 60th of a second. And for this video, I'm gonna to say to open up your aperture on your lens to its biggest point, which on this lens, it goes to f2.8. Now, if you wanna know more about shutter speed and aperture, I made some videos already on that. But right now, I wanna focus on ISO. ISO stands for International Standards Organization. And I'm not gonna go into the origin of that, but just know that ISO is talking about the sensitivity of your camera sensor to light. In a dark environment, it's only natural for your ISO to go up if your camera's set to automatic. And in a dark environment, when the sensitivity of the ISO goes up, it makes your video grainy or noisy as it's referred to. This is no good. Ideally, you should shoot at your camera's native ISO, or at least close to it, which in my case is around ISO 100. And when you set your ISO to like 100, your sensor is really not sensitive to light. You're gonna need a lot of light, and you might realize you don't have enough light in your environment. And that's why people shoot outside, because you have all this natural light coming from the sun, which is a great source of light that is bright and free. But sometimes you're gonna have to shoot inside. A lot of bloggers and whatnot, they shoot inside and you really cannot rely on your lighting inside. I have all my lights on down here right now and the video really doesn't look that good. So if I turn some lights on, change some settings, this video could look really good. So let me actually do that. And there you go, that's me turning on the lights, and as you see, the video is looking a lot better. On top of the ISO setting, we have to cover white balance. Have you ever been outside and your video or pictures are looking very blue? Or if you're inside and your videos are looking very yellow or orange? This is because your white balance isn't set properly. Most cameras have the ability to set manual white balance, and that's a big deal. Because when you're adjusting the white balance, you're adjusting the color of the video. And if your coloring's not right, your audience might view your videos as unprofessional. And outside when you're shooting, your white balance should be set to around 5600K Kelvin temperature. And inside, you should be probably shooting around 3200K. Unfortunately, not all cameras are gonna let you actually change the Kelvin temperature for the white balance setting, but there should be some kind of white balance setting that you can mess around with to get some pretty decent color. And also, just learn your camera simply. Learn how all the settings work, see if you can shoot in manual, because once you learn your gear, then you can mess around with the environment, with, you know, adding lights and whatnot. Don't take anything for granted. You know, if you think you have enough light in a room, you might not, so you just wanna mess around to make sure you actually are getting the maximum quality out of your camera. Regardless, guys, I could be talking about a ton more things about video production and all that. Maybe I'll be covering more things in other videos. But guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments section below. I hope this video helped you guys out. Anyway, I'm Eric. Thanks for watching.